I really thank God uh, we have a good mom. She's our heroine because there's no day. And you say, okay, let us give up, you know. She was always telling us, oh, you just work hard, don't ever give up. There is a time everything will be, will be okay. So that's why, that's what uh, made us at least to keep uh, going and... Uh, okay, my, my name is Lamonai. And, and I have a short story to share with you. Let me believe maybe it will change your life or motivate you in any way. What I believe and I know everybody has is or a story behind him or her. Same case here. Let me, let me just talk in Swahili so that I'll go fluently without even stating in any way. Because I'm not used to that much in English, you know. <laughs> okay. Mimi nilizaliwa. It's a very true story for sure, so... And how I wish I had some witness who will make you realize and believe what I'm saying is true. Mimi ni nimezaliwa kwa familia ambayo ni ashochole sana. Familia ambayo kila mtu alikuwa na pambana, mpambana aji. Familia ambayo kulala njaa ilikuwa kama sio historia ilikuwa kitu cha kawaida sana. Ni siku mingi sana ambayo nimelala njaa ukipata kama kitu kidogo kama uji ndo lunch una fry sana because una feel like ushanga kwa jackpot Okay as I said I'm not saying this at least to sympathize with me but at least to motivate you to be to work more hard to be where you need Okay I can't say I'm where I'm supposed to be or um, I'm very satisfied where I am but I thank God because here I am now There is a time I had nothing Nothing. When I say nothing, I mean nothing. I mean, it was not Pia, let me not say about me alone, but family and Zimayani. Okay, to cut the, the long story short, let me just start it in a simple way. Na araga kidogo so that maybe in this chukwa mdawe nyu mwingi sana. Na niwe kama siyongi ya kitu shamana. Mimi ni mezali wakatika family mbao ini kuji... Yani ni familia ambao ni umaskini sana. Familia ambao maybe kuenda shule pia ilikuwa kitu kigumu sana. Ya yeah, nilipo join maybe class 1, not even class 1, maybe class into whatever. Kila kitu kilikuwa kigumu sana. Okay, let me say mamangu alikuwa anapambana kwa uwezo wake lakini hakuwa na zile pesa ambazo maybe zinge to sustain sababu mimi si peke yangu nilikuwa nyumbani. Just imagine I grew up uh, being told kuwa uh, at least I, I lived a good life compared with uh, compared with other uh, siblings maybe ambao walikuwa mbele yangu because wao walikuwa nakula vitu ambavyo ni walikuwa nakula tu mboga zile mboga za maharage zile sisi naitwa kwa Kiswahili but walikuwa nakula kama mboga alafu shule walikuwa na wanadharauliwa sana because walikuwa na nguo na nguo ambazo zimeraruka let me just not talk about them let me just talk about myself Mi pia nimepitia maisha magumu sana. Kulala ilikuwa ni, ni kitu cha kawaida kulala nja. Familia nzima yani nyumbani kwetu tulikuwa tunashekwa sana. Kila mtu yani anasema, "Eh, hey, mbona wale ambao wanaishi maisha fulani hivi, yani hawajie kujituma." We don't know how my mom was working hard to to put something maybe on the table, on the table. For sure it was very hard for us to hit something. Let me not just uh, Eh, talk about kukula tu but hata kwenda shule ilikuwa ni ngumu sana unajua kuna hizo wenzi lakini si, si, let me not say about mimi nimezaliwa bado si mtu mkubwa kivyo lakini pia hizo wenzi pia yani unajua mimi nimesoma shule tu simple shule ambayo ni public school ambayo tulikuwa tunalipa msini kama ya mtihani lakini hiyo msini kuipata yani kuchukua shule ilikuwa noma sana but mimi ni mtu ambaye mamangu alikuwa anatupa alikuwa anatuambia pambana bwana ipo siku mambo yatajipa Of course hakuna mtu ambaye nyumbani aliwahi kata tamaa lakini pia ilifika sehemu ambayo mimi mwenyewe pia nilifeel like nikate tamaa Okay kufika class 8 mamangu alisema wewe mwanangu jitahidi ukipata kile kitu ambacho unapata marks nzuri Of course let me just be, let me just say the truth Sikuwa mjinga kivyo because I knew, I, I knew my life you know so i was i was trying my best to work more hard so that i can be somewhere so on my side i was trying to work more hard to to get to enter in a good school at least to make my mom proud 
that's what that's what I was trying to tell myself even if I was young. But I knew hope oh, because our life is terrible. Let me just work hard to be somewhere. Okay, nili pastor vizuri but sasa unajua tatizo nile. My my mom had nothing to take me maybe to a good school maybe but So in short me class 8 nilipomaliza from one so baroi lipo kuja so I was like I Mama atanichukua shule nzuri but no nikiwa mdogo singejua ah, mama ana pesa of course i was realizing she doesn't have anything because maybe eh, kuna ile time maybe angeweza kutupatia food angeweza kufanya kila kitu of course she was a very she is let me not say she was even now she is very hard working lady and she is trying her best to be to be a good mother to be everything Okay let me not say because since we sema namtegemea sana because pia ningetamani sana nitegemee mimi pia So ah, mimi kufanya class eight nikawa kama mamangu ana pesa na chochote so first time nikasema okay so nikatoka nyumbani nikaenda sehemu fulani ndo watu wasijui kama sijaenda shule first time naelewa So nilipotoka nyumbani nikaenda sehemu fulani kwenye nyango na nyango pia maybe ni yule mtu ambaye hakuwa na pesa kivyo So nikakaa nyumbani for one one uh, first time siku nda shule so nili join the second time Okay at first I said I'm not saying this to to sympathize with me at least I I'm saying this to motivate somebody to encourage somebody so that he can work more hard, to work hard to be where he needs or she needs you know Sometimes it's not about education it's not about what you do but it's it's about how you work hard and the way you you motivate to you motivate yourself So nilipo ingia for one second time uh, ikaandwa hivyo Okay nimeingia shule mimi mwenyewe nimeenda na nguo za nguo zinafanana za shule yani zile ambazo za mtumba lakini zinafanana za shule kila kitu ni mtumba So nilipo I can't say the school I went because So for ni, nikiwa from one the second time um, kaandwa hivyo maisha ni magumu bado naenda shule nafukuzwa so ikafika sema unajua sasa ikafika sema my elder brother ka, alikuwa ashaanza kujituma kidogo because alikuwa ashamaliza college nini nini so akawa akafika sema maybe at least anapata pesa kidogo lakini sasa ku, ku kutukia mke maisha sote ilikuwa ni ngumu because pia eh, let me just go back eh, back to 2005 my mama alipata aliuwa kidole so naelewa so alipata alikuwa amegua kidole so kidole ndio hivyo wakiwa sawa so kazi ambayo alikuwa anafanya kulima nini nini akaweza tena na pia sisi kuna wakati ambapo ulikuwa unafika so tunapambana tunaenda kufanya kazi kwa watu at least maybe tunalima ndio tupate kile kitu kidogo ambacho at least tujaribu ku sustain because sisi wenyewe tulikuwa tunachifanya kama wazazi pia because atungemwachia mama majukumu yote I really thank God that uh, we have a good mom. She's our heroine because there's no day and she said, "Okay, let us give up." You know, she was always telling us, "Oh, you just work hard. Don't ever give up. There is a time everything will be will be okay." So that's why that's what uh, made us at least to keep her going and uh, she motivated us for that. So when you from two so kila siku nafukuza shule so ikafika same nika feel like Okay. You know, bado kuna kitu ambacho sitamwambia. So kufika kwenye nyango pia nikakuja nikatoka huko because siko karibu sana na kwenye nyango. So nika nika nimekombolewa nyumba sehemu fulani naishi mwenyewe tu. Mamangu anantumia vitu kutoka nyumbani kama food. So na bado nikiwa form 2, form 3, kafika form 2. Yaani hivyo pesa ndo zipatikani. So it's like niliacha shule nikaanza kucheza pool at least nijikimke maisha. Mamangu akinipigia simu mwenda shule na mwambia of course yeah niko shule mam because you know you are so hata nikimwambia nimefukuzwa school ni satafanyaje ana pesa so ikawa ndo hivyo so so ikawa ndo hivyo yani so mambo na shule mambo na shule ni kama nimeacha kidogo yeah so nilipoacha kidogo mamangu ajui ikawa ndo nimeanza kunywa pombe ndo hivyo so i thank god for now i don't even take any alcohol because i decided why mbona ninywe pombe kitu ambacho kinsaidia katika maisha yangu 